population. Well, you follow up question on what Vikram added. I think we are seeing a lot of amazing Gen AI tools coming up like ChatGPT and other. And all of these are coming from Western countries. Like India hardly has any big tools. Like two big reasons. We lack a right framework and we also lack right talent pool. And this will widen the gap of like, you know, urban versus rural in India. So I think that's another area we would like to hear your views. Whatever AI you're generating, producing, sits on top of other networks. So AI is applied on top of a network. AI can be applied on top of a production network. You can apply AI in a factory. You can apply AI on a consumption network. So, you know, people are consuming something, you're distributing something, you can apply AI on that. So AI sits on top of a network, right? I'll tell you a very interesting story to demonstrate the power of this thing. It's not directly related to AI. The United States attacks Iraq. Okay. Within 25 days, it has wiped out the entire Iraqi military. And then six months later, something happened. And suddenly, US soldiers were dying every day. And within a six month period, the US army lost about a thousand armored vehicles. So how did a country or a system that couldn't take on the United States at all and failed to take them on, suddenly six months later, literally broke their back. What happened? Saddam Hussein came from a tribe called the Tikriti tribe. This tribe was the center of the Iraqi regime. When Saddam Hussein realized that America is coming, he told all his Tikriti guys, Bhaiya, tum log bhago. What did he do? He basically took 155 millimeter shells. You know they are? Artillery shells. And he distributed them to all these guys. And he said, Gaon mein ko le jao. And these guys took these artillery shells and they dug them in the ground. That's all. So what I'm trying to tell you, the Tikriti network came together, cell phone network came together, and the explosive shells came together. Three networks that were disconnected came together. And they literally obliterated the superpower in Iraq. So the game is about bringing unconnected networks together. Now, what is the biggest problem in India? Our biggest networks are not connected at all. So you guys are a tiny network. You're 1% of the country. Very small network. You're not connected to anything else. I mean, if you really want to bring India's power to bear, then you have to think about these things. Networks are energy, right? The moment you bring them together, it doesn't become one plus one plus one. It becomes exponential. Blam, it just goes. If you use that framework, you can see that that's a very powerful framework in politics. It's a very powerful framework in business. Samajwadi Party network joined with Congress network. Earlier that network was like this, now the network is suddenly lined up together. Now, the problem is in India is that pretty much all the conversations that we're having of development, etc., etc., exclude 90% of our population. Meaning the really powerful network is sitting outside. So what is the role of technology and IT is to apply your understanding and knowledge on those networks. But right now what the game is taking place is you're in 1% or not able to apply the stuff in the large 90% of, of India. And then these, these networks are not only physical networks, right? So there are caste networks in India. There are business networks in India. There are agricultural networks in India. So that to me, is an interesting way to think about it. Vision 